name's Trish Hyde. I'm the CEO of the Australian Packaging Covenant and I am at Plasticity because we all need to have the conversation together. It's been a great day and an exciting project. founder of Plasticity Forum. This is our eighth event here in Anaheim. We don't always have it in Anaheim, but it's our first in California. Uh, we take this event around the world. It's all about the future of plastic, design, innovation, recycling, materials, and everything we have to do to take solutions to scale so we don't have a waste footprint at the end of the day. I'm studying graphic design at the University of Piloto de Colombia. Uh, what brings me here is because we have a project that uh, is reusing the plastic bottles to collect rainwater. Actually, people are contacting us from around the world. There's some university in Australia and um, from Mexico that are actually asking us, hey, how do we can, you know, build the whole project in our community? And so everything I've been reading, all the papers I've read have been very positive as an additive of cellulose, so there's some great papers on it. So I've been trying really hard to get cellulose in my product. So I'm just so happy to be here and would love to experiment with it. Being at an event like Plasticity allows a whole bunch of stakeholders to get together to talk about the challenges uh, with plastics and plastics recycling. And so it's been a great opportunity to meet with experts in the field of, and technology of recycling and um, to build some new uh, pathways for solutions. To me personally, um, really it's just opened up my eyes and kind of re-engaged me. Um, it's been a while since I've heard from some of these speakers, so it's really good to hear what they're up to and, and where things are heading. Uh, it's always good to keep up to date. My interest in this came from living in Asia. I've lived in Asia over 20 years and worked there. I do a lot of sports in the ocean and I see some of the problems in the water maybe more than other people. About eight or nine years ago, I was inspired to understand why we're not globally looking at these issues on a macro scale, because plastic is everywhere, Every, we all use it, we all need it, but it's also an extremely challenging material, and we put this event together along with some of the other work we do to really try to engage businesses and industry and governments to have really good discussion about how to collaborate on you know positive ways to use the material but get it back into the system in the circular economy and that that is a big challenge so my company has developed me a chemical process where actually we just recently invented this we've shown early success in the laboratory at a small scale below one liter is a chemical process that can take mixed plastics. We shred plastics that are from waste post-consumer sources. So this is numbers four through seven plastics. So we can do, um, we can actually do everything except for PVC right now. So that's PET, LDP, HDP, PS, and also polypropylene. This is, Miranda, this is great, right? This is music to my investors, yes, and I'm sure to you, mm -hmm. Ricardo. I, yeah, you know, we should talk. I, I think as you get bigger, as your financing needs get bigger, and looking for investors, you should reach out to folks like me. For me, as an educator and as a scientist and as a businessman, it's a great way of getting new stimulus. And for the world, when we share these ideas, we can send them off to other places and then they can start the best practices in other parts of the world. So it's a really important event and uh, it's a great way of spreading information in a very efficient way.